What is up, everybody? Welcome to the video. It is I, Mike. I'm the community manager for Simterect, and I am here bringing you a video for our update to patch notes. I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea, so to be a little more interactive with you guys and um, uh, release a video instead of just reading, because who likes to read? I know I do. You should read, because reading is good. But while I have you here, you just focus your eyeballs on this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so what's on the agenda for today? We have game redownloaded and pack files. What does this mean? Um, it means that you'll have to redownload the game. However, the next time we add updates and we implement hotfixes and stuff like that, you will have to wait much less time for it to install as we have uh, added uh, smaller PAK files for your convenience. Next, we have a new version of Unreal Engine 4. We transferred from 4.25 to 4.27, meaning that we'll be able to take advantage of all the new tools that Unreal Engine has to offer. We didn't really notice that many issues when it comes to the Switch, so that's good. It's good for us. It's good for you. Let's get it. Antwerp city leveling. We fixed a bug preventing uh, the upgrade of Antwerp from level two to three, but this will mean that your progress uh, from level two to three will be reset. So for all of you community members playing the game out there, you can now level Antwerp to level three. Wait, rework. We have adjusted the weight values of everything in our game to be more realistic and then counter adjusted our physics calculations to make it feel like before. I know this may sound like a bunch of technical mumbo jumbo, but I assure you, it's a good thing. So this has been noticed to have about a 10% difference more or less in feeling uh, how it was before, which is within a reasonable range for us. And that said, without a doubt, we'll be watching closely and making the balance changes as necessary. So keep an eye out for that. More patchy notes. Yay. Here we got some more additions. We have features, regions, locomotives, level art design, scenarios, sounds, tutorials, features. Uh, we added a completely new service center. We revamped the service center to make it look more nice our main focus was to actually show you the train that you're changing now you'll be able to see the upgrades the changes that your upgrades make to your locomotives i think it looks really really nice here's a picture regions uh we added eastern europe poland czechia new cities new locations boom go explore it new locomotives the lechner car dp 2500 and its upgrade variant the DP3100. Yay! This electric locomotives was made from an Austrian company, the Lechner Koch, and is a solid upgrade from the FZ model. It looks cool. Here's another picture. Check it out. Scenarios. We added one more cargo scenario. Don't worry. There will be more in the future. And three passengers. That's six. Wait. Uh, three passenger scenarios and two posted scenarios so go ahead and check that out in the scenario section of the main menu let us know what you think about that sounds i like sounds do you guys like sounds sounds are great so we added some minor additions to electric trains there's more variety in their sound now uh the damage engine sound you can hear when you're breaking the car just try not to break it we added an air conditioning sound a walkie-talkie sound as well as a small signal for when the passengers are boarding so keep an eye out for that little thing we also revamped the tutorials for all the new players out there that are thinking about getting into the game or maybe they have already played the game and the tutorials were bad and then they were just like, oh man, these tutorials suck. But I promise we did make them much better. So check it out, better pacing, more clear objectives to help you learn the game and overall it's just a better experience. On a more serious note, we're going to be talking about now some changes and fixes tracks and railways we added three new junctions berlin farm stretching refinery cologne power plant and cologne factory hamburg coal mine and hamburg factory we redesigned railway schemes on passenger stations such as aachen amis brussels Bern, Be basel brno bremen dortmund dresden glivica for any people watching out there for that are from those cities i'm sorry for butchering those names we also added bypass tracks at the Frankfurt Warehouse, Stuttgart Warehouse, and as well as Cologne, Maine. Also, we updated the model of the signaling system, which is great. There's square now and there's blue lights. We also made some visual improvements to switches and electric traction. 
and we also fixed many bugs related to rails and signals. I need you guys to hang with me, please just hang with me. I promise we're almost done. We fixed a few UI navigation problems within the tablet. All right, now I have a big list of gameplay improvements. So I need you guys to hang with me. I'm gonna shotgun them out to you and you guys are gonna try to catch them. Well, don't do that in real life. Catching bullets is bad for your health. Adjusted all weights in game to have realistic values. Slightly adjusted performance uh, for all trained parts. Fix some bugs related to scenario barriers. Fix the behavior of animal events. Fix some event spawn placements. Fix an issue causing markers to be doubled. Fix the contract generation bug. Fix an incorrect Antwerp city upgrade requirement preventing progress to level three. Fix float inaccuracy of, of the 10% repair in the service center. Fix a problem with adding wagons while touching the track and end blockade at while backwards switching your locomotives without changing cargo mode won't remove the contracts cool hey can you stop barking i'm making a video please we also have some changes with level art sound and language as well as the most important thing out of them all stability and performance when it comes to language we also did fix some localization issues and when it comes to stability and performance npc locomotives are now less performance intensive, adjusted the min and max spline draw distance. The car traffic has been greatly optimized. The GPS system has received some foundational updates as well. And the NPC passengers have been further optimized along with that. And that's about it guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Expect more of these kinds of videos. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let us know in the comments. Uh, and until next time, until the next video, Mike is signing out. See you guys later. Bye-bye.